What is up there beautiful people and welcome to another edition of This Trending You. So if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell so you're always notified when I upload a new video. So today's news is literally blazing as a police van was torched as armed farmers stormed holding south of Brendan Horner's murder accused. So if you haven't heard so already, then I am here to give you the full detail. Basically, violent scenes broke out at the and I'm I hope I'm saying this correctly, Senegal Magistrate Court, when a group of angry farmers wanted to take the law into their own hands. So shots were literally fired, a police van overturned and set alight, and obviously in the process, court property was damaged by angry free state farmers who forced their way into the holding cells. Okay. So why did these farmers decide to do this? So basically it is being alleged that they wanted to personally avenge the death of a 22 year old farm manager called Brendan Horner. So Brendan Horner's body was found hanging from a pole on Friday in an open field in Paul Vrur. So the farmers were very angry following a short court appearance and I hope I'm saying these names correctly. Sekwe Jeizaya Masamba who is 32 years old and Sekola Pit Matlaleta who is 44 years old. So excuse me if I didn't say those correctly. I've been butchering names since 1993, okay? So the men were arrested for Horner's murder and basically the case was opened against them and has officially been postponed until October the 16th, right? So this is a statement that Michele, who is a police spokesperson, Brigadier, basically said to the media. He said that soon after Matamba and Matleta were taken into custody, an unruly group of farmers had stormed the court building. So they demanded that the suspects be handed over to them. They damaged the court property while forcing their way to the court south. A police van parked outside the court building was also overturned and burned. The police deployments are trying to get the situation under control while other reinforcement is on the way. So thus far, the situation is tense, but also it is under control. So obviously from this point onwards, we know that two shots were fired from this group and no one was injured. So as you guys can, as you guys can obviously, you know, guess the Twitter street had a lot to say about these news. So one person said no rubber bullets or sand grenades, it's just hashtag farmers, but imagine if it was black people, welcome to South Africa. Another person basically said that um, none of them were arrested, but if it was black people's live shots were going to be fired. Uh, okay, I'm not too sure I understand that one. Anyways, another one says that all animals are equal, but some animals are more equal than others. Okay, so another person, and this is the last tweet that I'll be reading, said, Hit a like if you agree, only black protesters are worthy of rubber bullets or even live ammunition. Whites of this country can do as they please whenever and wherever. But if you basically didn't get the butt of what everyone was saying, they're just saying that, um, it seems from this situation that has arisen that some people are being treated as more equal than others because people are assuming that if it were black people that had caused this much havoc, especially outside of a court, then definitely there would have been at least rubber bullets fired or some sort of retaliation by the police force. But anyways, do tell me what you think in the comments section. I definitely do agree with some of these people, um, you know, and some of their opinions. You can drag me in the comments. I definitely do agree. I do think that if it were a group of black people, then, you know, there would be more, much more than two shots fired. But anyways, that is my personal opinion. You can tell me your opinion in the comments section. I love you all and have a lovely day.